Welcome, please. Yes, you're the there guest. You go. You're the guest. <laughs> I'm so used to waiting for the other person. Yes, person's. exactly. Yeah, yeah. This is, I'm interviewing you. I'm loving it. Uh, you know, I'm I, so happy to be here. I'm so happy. Can that I you're say here. that I have wanted to be on this television show since I, since the second you started hosting it. No. I don't know if I'd have ever hosted my show if it wasn't for watching you do this show and all the people you have here. And to be sat here now, I am thrilled mm -hmm. to be on The Tonight Show. I mean yeah. it from the bottom of my heart. I love you, I'm so happy to be here. You know, I, I when, really I first, <clears throat> when I first met you, before you were hosting the show, I knew you as an actor. Mm. You're a phenomenal actor, and everyone watch Mammals on uh, Prime Video. Watch, watch just the first episode if you haven't seen it. If you don't like it, you don't have to watch it. You'll be sucked into it. Even the last three seconds, I'm like, oh my but it God. it twists. It twists and turns. You are fantastic, all over the buddy. You're you so are good. so kind. Thank uh, you. You yeah. know, it's your first time you're on our show, but mm. we've hung out many a time. We have. And we have, have many fun adventures together. Well, it's always fun. <laughs> it's never not fun. That's the beauty of it. If I go to something, because often, obviously, Jimmy and I will be invited to things and, and you get there, and I, I always feel like I shouldn't be there. Like someone's gonna tap me on the shoulder and go, oh, there's been a huge mistake. <laughs> um, you should we, leave. Yeah, we were James Cameron we meant to invite, not you. Not James. And then when I see you, I think, oh, okay, well, this is gonna be fun. And we have this, and I can't remember who started it, whether I started it or you started it, this running bit that we have, where if we see each other at uh, an event, because also, if you notice, we go to things and no one ever sits us together. We're on different tables. It's like they've got to spread the talkers. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. they, they know we're trouble yeah, yeah, so, when we get together. So I started, I think, I think it was me who started first. I came over to your table and you had, I think it was a tequila, a glass of tequila, and you were just about to grab it to take a drink. And I swooped in, picked it up, looked you dead in the eye, and drunk the, the whole, whole thing, thing. Yeah, and exactly, put yeah. it back. <laughs> and this then set in motion oh, yeah. a, a constant running joke yeah. where... Anytime we saw each other, I go like, <clears throat> have a sip of what? Have a sip. Uh, oh, I sure, you got a bad voice? Yeah, yeah, yeah there you go. You. Yeah. And I just chug the whole drink the until it's empty and give it back to you. The entire thing. And it always makes remember, me laugh. Do you remember when you, you, were, sit, you were sitting next to Lady Gaga? Do once? I remember? Of course I remember. <laughs> it was in. I'm, we're at this event, I'm sat next to Lady Gaga, right? I'm here, she's there, and I, she's lovely, she's amazing, and we're talking. Yeah. And um, she was saying to me that she's very nervous about her before she was going to perform that night and she said she was very very nervous and i was like but you're lady gaga you don't get nervous and she said uh she said no I, i'm more comfortable in a big stadium than i am in front of a small room like this and i said you're going to be great and she said um will you pray with me yes right and i went sure yeah, yeah. let's <clears throat> and she held my hands yeah. like this and she closed her eyes, and we're literally like this. She closed her eyes, and she started saying, please give me the strength yeah. to perform. And I opened my eyes slightly, and in the corner of my eye, I can see Jimmy walking towards my drink to do the bit, <laughs> right? And I, I'm going like this. I'm going like this. I'm going, I'm going. <laughs> and I'm going like this. Mm, yes, give us the strength. <laughs> and he goes... And he goes to me, he goes, Lady, you came over, you went... Look, I did a good job, I went, yeah, like... He, he looked at me, like, okay, and he came back, he went, what was going on? I said, we, we, we were just praying. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> what were you guys doing? You were Simple afraid. Simple prayer. Yeah, and then I drank your Simple drink. Simple prayer, and then yeah. we drank our drinks. Yeah. Uh, you announced that you're leaving the Late Late Show uh, this yes. coming spring. Yeah. Uh, uh, very sad, you yeah, know, we love you. Do you have anything planned for the, for the end? Um, well, I've, I've, I've actually just been asked to take over the Tonight Show, which is weird. <laughs> wait, 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 that's a mistake, but wait, just... no, no, I can't, please, no. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, <clears throat> my biggest plan will, my, be, my intention, which I think I'll fail at uh, dramatically, is to just not be just, like, crying for the entire hour, which I think I will be. Yeah. So I'm really going to try and keep it together. Our intention is to, you know go out in the way that we came in, yeah. and, and I, I, I will miss it hugely. I will miss it every day. I will miss the people that I work with, and there's no sense of me leaving because I don't love it. I'm just leaving the show primarily because we're, we're a long way from home, and our, we really want our children to know what it's like to grow up in London, to have a solid relationship with their grandparents, and that is time that that you don't get back, really. So however hard it is to go, I'm, I'm completely certain that it's the, the right thing to do it. Right. And, uh, and, and I, you know, I've loved every second of doing it. Yeah. I love it. I love there the show. Go. I really do.
I'll start about mammals. Yeah. Uh, can I set it up? Can I spoil Yeah, sure. <clears throat> Go for it. Can I give a little spoiler? Yeah, it's almost impossible not to spoil the show if you're going to talk about it's it. It's so a dark... You can. It's yeah. a dark comedy. Yes. It's, it's a, it's a, but some very dramatic scenes, very funny scenes. I think that only you could pull this off. You do such a great job of this. Who wrote this, by the way? Uh, the, the, the show is written by an incredible writer called Jez Butterworth, who uh, has written... He's got the most extraordinary career. He's basically written two Tony Award winning plays, but he also has written two Bond movies the new Indiana Jones oh my God. and Ford versus Ferrari. So <laughs> wow. he's got this kind of incredible... And what he's done in the show is make something very small about love and yep. relationships and marriage with all of the kind of twists and turns that you would get in one of his kind of bigger movies. I'm incredibly proud of it. It, it's, it's, it starts it's, off with you guys traveling. You're going to this beautiful place in, in, in England. In Cornwall, yeah, Cornwall. on the coast, yeah. Beautiful, and uh, you know, your wife is pregnant, and she's beautiful, and you guys are just the perfect couple in the sunset, and it's all great. Yes. And then um, uh, she loses the baby. So they lose their baby, and it's really sad. It's awful. And he's got her phone because there's bad service where they are in Cornwall, and he looks down at his phone, and he realises in that moment that she's having an affair. And in that moment, he also bumps into uh, the singer Tom Jones. <laughs> yeah. yeah so, 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 so you're trying not to freak out that Tom Jones yes. is there, but then your life is falling apart here. Correct. Uh, and, uh, and it gets trickier after that. It just gets trickier upon trickier upon trickier. It's so great and so worth it. I want to show a clip. Here is James Corden and Tom Jones in Mammals. Take a look. You're my neighbor, right? I'm Tom from next door. Pleased to meet you. I don't know about you, but I'm coming back. I mean, this is like a landscape you already know. It's like something that's, that's etched in your soul. Did you ever get that? <coughs> you all right? <coughs> Jesus Christ. <coughs> what was it, an oyster or something? Tom Jones. Yeah. Tom Jones. Uh, I want to say thank you so much for coming on, but uh, I, I love doing uh, Late Night with you uh, in the same school and us uh, doing the show together. I'm going to miss that uh, and, and seeing your bits. And you, you would do things that would make me want to be better at my job. So I want to thank you for uh, everything you've done. I, I love you. you. I love you so much. I really do. Do you get you? Right. Right. James Corden, everyone. Mammals is streaming now on Prime Video. Jenna Ortega joins us after the break. Stick around, everybody. Hey, hey.